You read the title. It's happening. I am going to cut my own hair today. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Hello beautiful people of the internet. I've actually been wanting to cut my hair for quite some time now, but I was a bit short on money. And then the whole lockdown thing happened and here we are still not having cut hair. Normally this whole self-isolation thing would just go up until the 3rd of April, I think. It's the 2nd of April as I'm filming this and we are advised to stay home for two extra weeks. My patience is just gone. I have had enough of waiting. I want to get my hair cut and if I can't get it cut by someone else, I'm just going to do it myself. So that's what we're doing today. So the last few days, I have been looking up videos on YouTube, seeing how people cut their own hair, how they did it, all that stuff. Because even though I do it at home, I do kind of want it to be decent for as far as that's possible, of course. I've seen Brad Mondo upload a video recently. I've watched Kozy Kitsune's video. I've seen Dodi cut her own hair too. And a bunch of other people too, which means that I'm basically a professional at this point. Now some of you might be asking the question, but why? Firstly, I don't know if you noticed, but it's not my natural hair color. I bleach it a lot, I do a lot of very damaging things to my hair, which means that the ends are just completely dead. They're dry, they're split, they're just dead, and I want it gone. Secondly, I actually want it to grow out my hair. I wanted it to be able to reach my belly button, but since I have been doing these harmful things to it, it doesn't want to grow any longer than this. It's been stuck at this length for over six months now and I'm just tired of it So I made the decision if it doesn't want to grow any longer I'm just gonna go straight short and deal with it because I'm tired of it So the plan is to cut it to about this length I actually wanted to have it up until my ears But since I am pretty sure I will mess this up I can still give the hairdresser some room to cut it when I actually go to the hairdressers For now, I just want to get rid of most of it. So we're just gonna do about this Length. I'm also going to change the siding because I've been doing this emo fringe for as long as I've had a fringe basically I'm not gonna do the middle part because my hair is very flat and very straight and if I do this I just <laughs> I look like an egg <laughs> So I'm going to slightly alter it. I'm going to do it like a little bit further My grown-up fringe is still here too. So that way it looks a bit better, a bit straighter, a bit less chunky as well. So that's the plan. So now that I've explained everything, the only thing that's left to do is to actually cut it. So I'm excited and scared at the same time. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go cut some hair, shall we? <laughs> All right, so welcome to the bathroom. This morning I washed my hair, I let it air dry. And this is what I normally look like when I just do nothing with it. All right, so before we begin, I am going to comb my hair. I've washed it this morning, but I don't comb my hair because my hair is very straight and very flat around my face. I just like to air dry it and keep it a bit knotty because that way it gives it more volume, which I personally really like. But since I do feel like having my hair combed out gives it a bit of a more clearer idea of where I need to cut my hair, I'm going to do that even though I would normally not. So this is it, this is my natural straight hair. Oh, I really dislike it. <laughs> All right, anyway, like I said, I'm not going to do a middle section, but I am going to section my hair in the middle at the moment, just to see where I will have the side parting a bit later on. Is this the middle? I think this is about the middle. Oh God, it's so weird looking at my own hair this way. I don't want to have it like the same emo distance I would normally do. I just want it to be a little bit asymmetrical. So I think I'm going to go with this. I think this is about it. Not completely straight, but neither am I, so that's okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair into four separate bits using these small little elastics that I have. Doing so will make it a little bit easier to work with, according to the internet that is. They're not going to be sectioned off perfectly since I'm not a hairdresser, but I think it should do the trick. I'm going to try and make it look as straight as possible where the hair would normally fall, and I'm going to tie a little elastic around it. And I'm going to do the same with the other four parts. 
So now that I have my four beautiful sections in my hair, I'm going to pull the elastic down to where I want my hair cut, basically. So this is where I initially want it to be. This is like the length I want it to have. I'm going to pull it a little bit longer because that way I won't cut it too short and I can still cut it a little bit shorter afterwards if I still feel like I don't like it. So I'm gonna make sure that they look kind of the same. I'm gonna try and do the same on the back. And that's still quite long actually. But I think this is a about the length I'm going to start with. So I'm going to actually put some extra elastic bands a little bit underneath where I put the first one, just to be sure, you know. Now the only thing left to do is start cutting. I actually wasn't really nervous, but now that it's here, I suddenly feel my heart beating like super fast. I don't have hairdresser scissors. I just have a kitchen scissor. And then I also have the one that I use for journaling, which is not the best thing to do, but I didn't feel like investing in a hairdresser scissors since I'm probably gonna cut my hair just this once and then never again. So I'm just gonna use this. Okay, here we go. Three. Two, one. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, damn. So the first four bits of my hair have been cut. This is it, I can't go back now. So now I'm gonna take the smaller scissors because now I've cut it like very, very blunt. So what I see a lot of the hairdressers do and all, a lot of people online as well because now it's like very cut off and very like meh. I'm going to try and spray it out a little bit. And as far as I can, since my hair's short now, I'm going to try and just snip in it, I think. Okay, I feel like that doesn't really do much at least not on first impression maybe i'm not doing it correctly so i'm just gonna loosen it up for now oh my god that's not bad at all i actually did quite good i'm actually impressed with myself at this point i'm not sure how to back this up though again a bit chunky but not all that bad i'm actually quite pleased with it there are a few chunks i feel like still need to be trimmed a little bit oh my god i just cut my hair short it doesn't really sink in what i'm gonna do now is section off my hair again i'm gonna try and trim it bit by bit so that it looks a little bit more even again I'm going to admit it now, it looked way easier when the people on camera did it than when I do it in real life now. So I'm gonna turn up the camera for a little while, continue chopping up little bits of my hair, and then I'm gonna come back to you with the end result. For now, I'm actually not mad with how it looks like, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. My, it's not good looking at it. Thank you. Look at this. <laughs> Wow! You like it? Huh? <laughs> you doing a great job. Thank you. But like I said, the back is still a bit chunky, so I still need to like... like this. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, I still need to fix it up a little, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Looks good. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. No, it's really good. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, that was quite the adventure. It's not perfect yet, obviously. Like I said, I'm not a hairdresser. My hair is still chunky AF and I still have this weird fringe situation going on right here that I actually want to get rid of. But for now, I do not think that it looks bad at all. It's just not really good either. So I do feel like this particular haircut does not really suit my facial shape. But like I said, I'm going to get it done anyway. I just want it just out of the way. And I feel a lot better now that my hair is finally short. This is how long my hair used to be. This this is how much I chopped off. Hey Dom, wanna feel my old hair? <laughs> how do you wanna what? <laughs> Beautiful. You are absolutely gorgeous. Finally. <laughs> I have hair again. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, just to finish everything off with, here is what my hair looked like before I filmed the video. And this is what it looks like now that I've done it. For all of you who are also at home contemplating if you should cut or shape your hair, let this be the sign you need to just do it. I mean, hair is supposed to be fun. That's why I dyed in all kinds of funky colors and do weird shit with it. And the fun thing about it is that it grows back as well. So if you don't like it, you can just re-dye it or you can just do something else with it or just wait it out and it will grow back. So whatever you want it to do during this period of self-isolation, just do it. <laughs> so yeah, as usual, thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. I've been wanting to cut my hair for weeks now, so I'm happy I finally did it. Stay safe. Don't go outside unless you absolutely need to. And um, yeah, I will see you very soon. Bye. Okay, I take back everything I said about looking like an egg. This looks like an egg. <laughs> Bye.